I thought I told you ass to subscribe, man. What's going on? I'm gonna find you, bro. It's a matter of time. Just fucking hit the subscribe, like, and share button. All that shit. <laughs> What's up, guys? Welcome to MMA Flicks and Chill. This is Chris. So, I just watched Jorge Mazdaval get on the scale. Now, I recall in one of the embeddeds seeing Colby Covington say that Masvidal has no abs. Now, I'm looking at Mazdaval on the scale and the weigh-in, and I'm counting one, two, three... Four. He's got an eight pack going on here, maybe even a ten pack, and it's cut. So I'm gonna have to disagree, disagree with you on that one, Colby. I'm seeing like an eight to ten pack here on Masdival. Masdival. I always say Masdival, but anyway, he looks a little uh, depleted. I mean, I know that they have to do these weight cuts, which I hate. And I know they hate too, because I feel like we're not seeing them at their full, their maximum performance when they have to cut weight like this at the last minute. He weighed in at one seventy point five. Uh, Masvidal did, but yeah, home dude's got a eight to ten pack. So who do you think's gonna win this fight anyway? Is Colby gonna take it to the ground? I'm hearing theories. We've all heard theories that it may be faked. It may just be a hype job, like a WWE style, this beef between them. And for all I know, it could be. But if it is, they are selling it. They are selling it. Jorge Maz Masvidal is selling it. Uh, like he's looks like he's genuinely getting upset when, when trying to defend himself. Uh, against ac accusations against Colby, and when he bring when people bring up Colby, Colby is being Colby. So like we, you know, the only thing real that we know about him is what we see in the cage, and that's it. So I'm excited about this fight. Uh, I feel a bit like a casual because I'm just becoming aware of Bryce Mitchell, Bryce Thug Nasty Mitchell. Um, I saw, I remember a couple of fights of his, but, and, and it, it was good, but like he didn't stand out to me because I didn't know anything about him. Well, first off, some interviews are saying he's undefeated. When I looked it, it up, when I looked up his record, he had one loss. So, or maybe it was a draw. I don't know, but there was a one on there. So, uh, I don't know. I, I guess I need to look him up on the UFC website to see for sure what his record is. But I'm excited to see him against Barboza, and that's going to be crazy. Who do you guys got in that? I, I went ahead and put a little money on, on Thug Nasty, and I also put money on Jorge Mas, Masvidal. And who else did I put money on? Alex, Alex uh, Oliveira against um, Kevin Holland. Kevin Holland has, has not seemed focused lately, so he's the favorite. And Alex Oliveira, he's always like the underdog, and people put people always like don't expect much of him. But he always when he, he delivers, when people look at him that way. So I don't know. I think it's a good safe bet. I could lose them all. That's the way the cookie crumbles. So anyway, tell me who you think is going to win. Who are you looking forward to seeing on this card? I'm going to watch the weigh-ins, or not the weigh-ins, the uh, pre-fight press conference tonight. So I'm excited about that, see what kind of shenanigans both of these theatrical fighters in Jorge Masvidal and Colby Co Covington have in store for us tonight. But yeah, let's see what happens. Subscribe me up, guys, if you're watching this. And don't forget to like and comment, share, all of that shit. And ring that bell.